conservation of natural resources. Let's look at our learning goals. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define conservation of natural resources. You should be able to distinguish between renewable and non-renewable resources. You should be able to enumerate reasons for conservation of natural resources. You should be able to describe ways of ensuring conservation of natural resources and you should be able to state the benefits of conservation. Natural resources, our precious natural resources, the material in, on earth sustains life. These materials like rock, minerals, coal, petroleum, air, water, plants and animals are what we call natural resources. Plants and animals and other natural resources are being managed by man. These gifts of nature, human beings, we must conserve them. The way we manage them, our, our, the way we protect them, our future is in our hands to protect and conserve these resources for the coming years. Because if we refuse to conserve them, they will one day go into extinction. There will be unavailable forests, and the ecosystem will be unfavorable for everyone. Conservation means judicious or wise use of our resources. If you must conserve our natural resources, you must make a wise decision on how to manage these resources. So human beings has used natural resources at very fast rate without thinking of the consequences. Natural resources are divided into two, renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are the ones that can be recycled. They can never be exhausted. They are replaceable. Examples of renewable resources, we have wildlife, water, sunlight, air. Non-renewable resources, they are those resources which can not be recycled. They are those resources which can get exhausted. They are those resources which are irreplaceable. Examples of non-renewable resources are coal, oil, natural gas, fossil fuel, and minerals. Now, there is need for us to conserve our natural resources. Let's look at the needs for conservation of natural resources. Number one. Because of depletion of natural forests as a result of overgrazing, encroachment of this of forest. Now, because of this, there is need for us to apply conservation principles. Another thing is risk of exterminating indigenous hunting. Excessive poaching of animals tries to bring one of the needs for conservation. High rate of soil degradation. Soil infertility, the reasons of soil infertility, which soil erosion is one of its major reasons. So these what things are activities that are being caused by man. So it's one of the major reasons why there is need for conservation of natural resources. Pollution of water. Our water bodies have been polluted. That water is no longer fit for domestic activities. That is another need for conservation of natural resources. Now, dangers posed by encroachment of the desert, especially when it comes to the northern borders of this country, you see that desert encroachment tries to bring need for conservation of natural resources. Now, next one is destruction of land. Land have been destroyed. Dangerous ways in which land have destruction have been posed to every part of the ecosystem. Destruction of land is one of the reasons why there is need for conservation of natural resources. High population growth rate, when the population increases, and it accompanies pressure into the habitat, and the natural resources might not be available for all the population to feed on or depend on. So because of this, there's need for us to conserve. Now, ways of conserving natural resources. 
ways in which we can be able to conserve these natural resources. The first one, establishment of forest and game reserves. Yes, if we can be able to establish a forest and game reserve where we can protect wildlife, especially the endangered species, if we can be able to create such recreational centers where we can be able to protect this wildlife, it is a major way in which we can be able to ensure conservation. Now, afforestation. Yes, planting of new trees is a major way where we can be able to regenerate, develop, and equip trees in the ecosystem. If we can be able to plant new trees in areas where we see dry land, in areas that desert is, uh, deserts have been encouraged, we can be able to ensure adequate conservation. Now, setting of conservation laws. As conservation laws is a major avenue where we set policy to make sure that these natural resources are being conserved effectively. Now, certain also agencies that promote conservation. Yes, these agencies, they play major roles or they can play incentive roles that they can educate people. They can take charge of making sure that the laws of conservation must be kept. So these agencies, they play major roles in conservation of natural resources. They make sure that the natural resources are being conserved to the peak of age. Examples of these agencies, we have something like river basin development activities. They help in conservation of this, ensuring conservation. We have Federal Research Institute. These are some of the agencies and so are numerous agencies that are being developed in the country, uh, which help to make sure that conservation is being ensured. Now, another one is reuse, recycling of resources. Yes, if we can be able to reuse our resources, example water or uh, if, if when we talk about recycling of paper and, and glass we can be able to use them to manufacture something else these things we can be able to use them use this raw material use these materials that have been used to develop something that can be able to sustain another need now benefits of conservation benefits of conservation Number one, it maintains biodiversity and protects endangered species. Yeah, species that are close to extinction, uh, that their existence is, is shedding away. Uh, if, if we can be able to protect them, it, it tries to play a very major, a vital benefit uh, in the conservation agenda. Now, another one is continuous use of natural resources. Yes, when we conserve natural resources, there is a continuous use. They remain steadily available to human beings. Now, it prevents extinction. When we preserve natural resources, uh, we, some animals, some plants that are into extinction today won't be a see, won't hear of such a gain because they have been preserved. All organisms, we always have the possibility to be an extant organism. Now, to preserve natural recreational centers, to promote. If we reserve natural recreational centers, this is a benefit where we can always go, view, and see some animals that God created. See some things that contribute to part of the ecosystem. If we can create these recreational centers, game reserve, people will always go there and benefit from it. Now, the research purposes. Yes, scientists will always look for areas in which they can go and do some research, either for on the plant or botany or zoological based research. This research are based on the fact that they are looking about some certain physiological or structural attributes in some certain living organisms. So creating conservation uh, agencies or conservation reserves will be able to provide them the benefit of seeing areas in which they can be able to go and find a particular specimen or species of plant or animal that they want to research on. Now, another one is employment. Employment conservation of natural resources provides employment. One, security agencies will be employed. 
people guiding us will be employed. It helps to promote employment. A people will be employed because job will be are created during these conservation processes. Now, another one is foreign exchange. Conservation of natural resources brings about foreign exchange. It, hey, when we talk about foreign exchange, you see that countries can exchange what they have with other ones because based on biodiversity, distribution of plants and animals always differs based on the nature and the type of environment that organisms are being distributed. Now, based on this fact, some countries will come over to take some resources that are found in other countries and through that it will generate money for that country. Through this process, conservation of natural resources, its role, its benefit remains inexplicable. And I implore you that as human beings, for us to conserve our natural resources, it has to start from us. We have major roles to play. You and I, that's the reason why this is one of the major topics in our curriculum. For us to know the need of conserving our natural resources. For us to understand the benefits of conserving our natural resources. If we don't conserve them, they will go into extinction and the detriment will fall on man. See you next time. Till then, read your book.